Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. Excuse me, I would like to know something about this campus. Right now it seems very big and confusing. I have no idea where I am going or what I am doing. Do you have a map of the campus? Yes, I have, but it doesn't help me very much. I'm not very good at reading maps. Do you know where your classes are? More or less. I go to three different buildings and always get there late. I feel so hopeless. I don't know why I am late all the time. No one else seems to be. That's because you don't know the shortcuts. You'll learn them after a while. I can show you the ropes. Tom, you're my good friend, right? Sure. What's the matter with you? The exam. The terrible exam. I'm not ready yet. Can you tell me how to get good marks? Don't be so nervous. Relax. First, sleep early at night. Second, study two hours a day after school. Third, don't tire yourself out, but don't be lazy. Will that help? Yes, thank you. Can you help me figure out how to use this vending machine? Yes, I would be happy to help. What do you want to buy? I want to buy that candy. Okay, so this machine will make change if you need it. Do you have your dollars ready? Yeah, so far, so good. Next, you feed your dollars into the machine in the slot. Make sure they are smooth. Yeah, I already knew that. I'm sure you know that if the dollar gets stuck, you might have to refeed it. Okay, let's move on. Now you just make your selection and pray. If nothing comes out, try again or call the number on the side of the machine. I hope it works. Well, good luck. How is your new dormitory? It's very nice. There are only four people, and those girls are very kind and friendly. Well, do you all major in the same subject? No, the other three girls major in a computer science, and they can help me a lot with the computer operating. That's great. I hear you're taking a music class. I didn't know you're interested in it. Oh, I'm not. I've never had a music class before. In my opinion, you'll make it. You're having me on again. No, I'm serious. Hi, my name is Lean, and I'm from Russia. Nice to meet you, Lean. My name is Alike. I'm from Japan. To me English is a difficult language. A second language is always difficult. True, but English is harder than most. It's a crazy language. A crazy language? Why do you say that? One letter can have several pronunciations and one word can have several meanings. No wonder you say English as a crazy language. Excuse me, can you tell me how to find some books on social science? Sure. You see all these little drawers here and all the way around the walls? Yes. These drawers contain cards describing every book in our library. Together they constitute the library's card catalog. You can see that each drawer runs from one part of the alphabet to another. Fox example. This drawer goes from SCA to SCM. 
So if I'm looking for a look called a history of Western society, I'd just look under, A. No. You'd look under, W. The articles is, and, the, don't count in our alphabetization. And cards are generally omitted for extremely common words and phrases such as, history of, introduction to, story of and so forth. What if I don't know the title of the book? Well, you can look under the author's name. Could you give me an example? Suppose you want to find a book by your professor, William Smith. You'd look under Smith and then William. Since that's very common name, you may have to go through several, William Smith, until you come to the one who wrote book on the subject you are interested in. How are you? I'm great. Thanks. Did you need something? I need your help. How may I help you? I need to find this newspaper article. Have you checked the periodicals section yet? I forgot about that section. If you'd like, I can show you where to find it. Could you do that? Follow me. Thank you for all your help. What's up? You don't look too good. Yeah, my head hurts, that's all. I've been in physics class all day. It's killer. I liked physics. It's all math, really. Arcs, curves, velocity, cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, but today's lesson was all about the creation of the universe. A physics class about the creation of the universe? That's some pretty unscientific language there. Sounds more religious to me. It's all religion. Take the theory of the Big Bang. How is it possible that all of the stuff in the universe comes from an explosion? That's no better than Atlas carrying the globe on his back or African myths about turtles and stuff. Turtles? Whatever look. All that's required for the creation of matter an imbalance of particles and antiparticles. At least, that's what the math says. Math. Sheath. What's the evidence? There is evidence. Do you know Edwin Hubble? He's the guy who in the early 20th century was the first scientist to measure the drift of matter in the universe, thus advancing notions of an expanding universe. What would it be expanding from? Well, the Big Bang duh. Anyway, it's just a theory. Why do people go around touting theories? Where's the scientific rigor in that? Dude, don't equivocate. A theory only becomes a theory after withstanding rigorous testing. You slept through class, didn't you? Do you mind if I sit here? Of course not. Help yourself. What are you studying? I have a test tomorrow. Let me get last week's notes. Yeah, sure. You didn't come to class that day? I couldn't come. Why not? I wasn't feeling well. Here they are. Thanks a lot. Are these all the notes? Oh, no. This is the rest. Thank you very much. It's no problem at all. I didn't see you at Mr. Johnson's class today. Yeah, I quit. Why? I'm fed up with his boring lectures. Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy-to-follow, free, educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.